Shiro is the worst anime character ever. In my opinion, that is. So before I start this video, I'd like to say, if you like Shiro, I recommend you leave. You will be triggered. Probably. Because this video is basically just me shitting on Shiro and hating on him. Think of me as a random kid online, raging over a fictional character. Because that's basically it. Don't take me seriously. I just hate Shiro. I just want a place to rant somewhere. But if you hate him too, I recommend you watch this. And I know for a fact I'm not the only one who hate him. But I know there are a lot of people who absolutely love him and think he's the best character ever, which I don't see how. So I would like to clarify something. I'm only referring to Emiya Shiro in the Fate Stay Night original 2006. Not the Unlimited Blade Works or Heaven's Feels or the visual novel. I've seen both Unlimited Blade Works and Heaven's Feel, but I watched to 2006 first, and Shiro was goddamn annoying. I admit, Shiro in Unlimited Blade Works and Heaven's Feels, I didn't hate him. He wasn't that annoying. He was mildly annoying, but he was nowhere near as bad as in the 2006. In the 2006 version, he was absolutely infuriating. So I'm strictly talking about the 2006 original Emi Ashiro anime edition. And people have told me the argument. Oh, you can't hate on just one Shiro. You have to watch all the animes and play the visual novels if you want to judge him. But fuck you. I'm talking about only the 2006 Shiro. Alright, just the original. I don't care about the visual novel. I don't care about Unlimited Blade Wars. I don't care about Heaven's Fields. Those are good. Okay, I enjoyed those. But the original was painful. So if you haven't watched the 2006 version, then it doesn't count, alright? And I don't recommend you go watch it, because it was bad. Like, it wasn't like, bad bad. But the main character was bad. So with this in mind, I'm gonna start the video, and my long long ass rant. Be prepared for a lot of shit talking, because I absolutely hate this guy. So Emi Ashiro is the protagonist of Fate Stay Night. You probably already know, and that's why you're here. For me, usually the protagonist of any series has a 50% chance of me liking them more. I have bias for protagonists. This applies for Luffy, Goku, Naruto, Light, Edward, etc, etc, etc. I like them all, but I think I'd like them less if they weren't the protagonist. I don't know why, it's just a personal bias I have. But for Shiro, I hate him. But him being the protagonist makes me hate him more. I hate him more than Shinji, the annoying dude. And I'll explain why. Shinji is a douche, okay? He's a loser. He's annoying as hell. But the Siri is aware that he's annoying. And everyone hates him. But Shiro does stupid things, and the series acts as if he's the hero. He has the thickest plot armor I've seen in my life. I don't hate plot armor. I'm an Isekai fan, so I see plenty of plot armor. But in this case, the plot armor is annoying. The show is on his size and actively makes him look better when he's acting like a stubborn idiot. He's naive. In some fights, his presence being there is a nuisance to Saber. But Shiro recklessly runs in and gets himself hurt for no reason. He is weak in the beginning compared to the others. This is a fact. He basically doesn't even know magic. I mean, he does, but like, not that much. Yet he still recklessly provokes everyone. He was told to stay back or run away, yet instead jumps in and gets himself hurt and becomes a nuisance. Okay, I watched Unlimited Blade Works and Heaven's Feel. He looked less like an idiot and less of a nuisance. But in 2006 version, the anime made him look like a flopping fish. Like one time, Saber struggled to fight against Berserk. Okay, Berserk is an OP dude. And Shiro just jumps in, gets slashed, nearly dies, and becomes a nuisance to Saber. Like, what the hell, man, Shiro? Saber is struggling enough. She doesn't need to have you as a nuisance there. Come on, man. And he somehow survives with plot armor. And I've also seen Unlimited Blade Work and Heaven's Feel version of this. He didn't look as annoying in the other versions. But in 2006, he looked like a flopping fish, like I said earlier. And this happens many times for many situations. And he refuses to summon Saber. He gets his ass saved by luck and acts arrogant as hell though. He acts brave and he acts arrogant. 
Even though he's weak and gets his ass whipped. I've also heard people say he has pacifist views. But I, I really don't care about his pacifist views. There are a lot of people who refuse to fight or refuse to kill who are not annoying. Like Luffy, he hasn't killed anyone. Wait, has he killed anyone? I don't think he has. Well, Luffy, he hasn't killed any of his opponents, okay? But he's still an amazing dude. I love him. But for Shiro's case, he is a pacifist, but he doesn't act like one. Him being a pacifist is not why he's annoying. Him being a pacifist just adds more to the annoyingness. And yet, the series makes him look like a cool, brave hero, when he really isn't. And it doesn't help that the art style of the old 2006 version made his face look completely dumb, okay? I'm not trying to hate on the art, just the art made his face look like an idiot, okay? You just can't tell me- You can't tell me you look at this face, and can't tell me this is the face of an idiot. No offense to the art, of course, I can't draw it like this, okay? I'm not trying to insult the art, I'm just saying that it made him look like an idiot. And he's a simp! I don't hate simps, I am a simp myself, but he's a different species of simp. At first glance, he may not look or act like a simp, but if you take a step back and think about it, every character he interacted with, every conversation he had, he basically simped every female. Like Ilya, for example, she tried to kill Shiro. She kidnapped Rin and literally killed Archer, the best and most badass character in the show. And yes, I know the plot twist where Archer is actually Shiro from the future, blah blah blah, yeah. But I don't care, they're different characters. And yet, Shiro forgives Ilya at the drop of a hat. And not only that, he lets her live with him. Like, bruh, she tried to kill you! And Archer died! What the hell, man? Like, bruh, she tried to kill you, and Archer died. Why are you so trusting of her? Like, man, what are you doing? And it's similar with Rin. He simped Rin and like, it's just frustrating, okay? Like, why are you such a simp, bro? And there's also Saber as well. He simped Saber the entire time. Oh my god, man. He simped Saber so hard. He's so clingy to Saber. Saber was doing her absolute best, but Shiro was just there being annoying and simping Saber, being a nuisance to her. And he hates Archer and most other male characters. You can see the difference and how he acts towards male and female characters. I'm not a huge fan of Saber, I don't hate her, nor do I like her. She's not my waifu or anything. But he has the audacity to lecture Saber. An entire episode of lecturing. Like he knows nothing about her life, yet tries to convince her to stay. Like what the hell man, she's probably tons of years older than you. He's arrogant of when he knows nothing about the situation. The series is on his side and makes Saber have feelings for him when he's acting like a complete idiot, completely ruining Saber's ideology. Like by the end of the show, I didn't like our Saber that much, okay? At, at the beginning, I thought she was a cool character, but by the end, I just like, oh my god, I didn't even like her anymore. Shiro is pushy and nosy. She tries to, he tries to get involved with everything, but he's just not. Shiro is so pushy and nosy. The type of people I hate most, okay? I just hate him so much. Also, that ending though. How did Shiro beat Kire Kat Ko- What? How did he pronounce the name? Kotamin? How did Shiro beat Kire Kotamin? I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not sure. His name is weird. Japanese people though. I saw Fate Zero and he was fucking OP and badass. Like, damn. But Shiro was weak the entire series. And yes, he trained but barely. Like, heck, I even work out more than this guy does. And yet, how do you win against Kire? Using plot armor again. That's basically the entire show. Shiro with plot armor. So basically, that sums up why I hate him. I could continue on more and more about why I hate him, but then the video would be 100 hours long. And it has been a while since I watched it, so I don't remember clearly about everything that happened. Also, I would be saying some quite harsh things, and I might get demonetized and age restricted, so I'm afraid that might happen. Honestly, I don't want to hate him. I tried to like him. 2006 version completely did him dirty. It, he was so much better in Unlimited Blade Wars than Heaven's Feels. Like, for me, Shiro ruined all of the Fate series. Every time I think of Fate, I don't think of the good moments. I think of Shiro being bad. I hate him. He completely devalued Fate Zero for me. It ruined the experience. I just hate him so goddamn much. 
these are just a small portion of why I hate him. And yes, I know I'm too angry for my own good. And I know I try to calm myself down. But just, I hate him so much. God damn it. Well, this is just my rant. Every time I mention how annoying Shiro is online, I get downvoted into oblivion. I get a million replies saying how I'm the stupid one. And yes, I know I'm stupid. But damn, I hate him. I just wanted a place to vent my pent-up frustration for Shiro. And this is it. Well, I'm a head out for now. I need to go get a drink. My voice is dying. Thank you for watching. I hope you didn't punch your screen. Bye.